Hey, how are you? Great to see you, kiddo. How are you been? Real well. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Very, very professional. Oh, you see it's on the way. The kiss, the handshake, and then the way. That's it. Let's go. Okay, great. Can you all tell us about your character? Uh, my character's name is Paige Neem. She is a waitress and the pilot. Uh, a mother of a single, uh, single child. <laughs> of a nine-year-old boy who uh, just kind of trying to do everything she needs to do to take care of her son and he is, uh, it's sort of implied that he is a challenged child and that he has a very hard time socially and adapting to his environments and school life and uh, his character comes in the beginning of uh, the, the pilot um, before this national emergency takes place which he'll get to and you uh, point out to me that my son is not so much challenged but is in fact a genius. He recognizes genius. Right. Of my son, and that's immediately this eye-opening thing for my character because I'm not going to be able to relate to him uh, for basically his entire childhood, and so I look to him as an opportunity to kind of relate to my son. Um, it's interesting what Catherine said because um, everything she, she talked about with her son is kind of almost acting as, as a mirror image from my own self. So, um, feeling isolated, feeling secluded, not being able to communicate with the world, but also having an incredible amount of intelligence uh, meant that he started uh, to work for himself in different endeavors. Uh, and then he was um, he was almost captured in a way by uh, the gentleman to my left, Robert Patrick's character, Dave Gallo, when he was a youngster, uh, when he was 13 in real life, but we've mod moderated it down to 10 years old now. Uh, and he came up with a clever way of ensuring that he was treated like an American asset rather than being used as an enemy, because he would have gone to jail or whatever it was, a juvenile kind of thing. So um, we joined the story a little bit later, but we have a couple of flashbacks, but later on where he's, he's created this community of other like-minded people who have a great intelligence but a problem communicating that to the outside world. That's when we meet Dave's character. Okay. Yes, I'm a federal agent and I'm looking for a hacker named Scorpion and it takes us to Ireland and we find Scorpion the hacker and it turns out to be an eight-year-old boy and uh, like Paige's character, uh, I was able, or like uh, Elias's character, I, I was able to recognize his genius and realize what an asset he'd be to the United States government, bring him back to America. His parents actually asked us to take him, to bring him back. We, we, we develop him, we allow him to start to work for us, come up with different uh, technologies and problem solving ideas, and uh, something happens between us. We have a riff, we go 10, 15 years, 20 years yes. without yeah, yeah. seeing each other, and where you see us in the pilot, I'm now coming back to him saying, I need you. You're the only one that can solve this. Help us. And and he has a big struggle with whether or not to do that, and he comes back to work for us. And uh, we commandeer her diner, and we meet her. And uh, right now, the episode we're doing right now is actually I'm reaching out to her and saying I need your help now dealing with these guys to take because they're all oversee their awkwardness. It's like herding puppies. Does it feel so, good? Did you get to uh, really drive that Ferrari? No, no. The only dr only cars we drove were the uh, shagging wagons. And that red car Delta. that's supposedly my the Paige's car. Like I barely even drove. Like all that stuff. With the, I was not really driving. Well, actually, I'm playing a Homeland Security guy. Uh, Homeland Security. Uh, I might have been an FBI guy. We're kind of a little vague on where I came from, from the military or was I in police or whatever. But now I'm Homeland Security. I can't remember what I was when I was. He was basically a real life character. Homeland, was I, Homeland Security still? It's Homeland yeah. Security. Even when I got you in Ireland, yeah. when you were young. Okay, yeah. So it was a Homeland Security. You branched out, and then you had that conflict. Um, yeah. Well, we love you guys. We love uh, Thank you, Myla. Thank you so much for So great to here. see you. How you been? I'm good. I'm I've good. been keeping up with everything. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'll try to stay. Okay. I'll talk to you later. All righty. Bye. Bye.